I love this time that we live in. Where long dead consoles have been brought back to life by the homebrew community. Hey, I am the Game Collector, and this is Second Opinion Games, and today we do a review of fast food for the Atari Jaguar. Second Opinion Games. Fast Food for the Atari Jaguar is a new release, which is great to see. It's released on card and the Jaguar CD. I have the Jaguar CD version, so let's look at the packaging. So this is the DVD case of the Atari Jaguar version of Fast Food, and it's pretty decent. There's just a little bit of painted tape here, which will stick on the back for safekeeping. Open it up, and we see a menu, which is pretty nicely laid out telling you the point system and what all games need to be played, and the disc, which has bubbling plastic on it for the cover, and it is relatively well made. But overall, that's the game. Fast food for the Atari Jaguar CD. So, how does the game play? Well, hit the B button and jump right into the menus. If you press number one, you could have all-you-could-eat mode. Number two is two-player all-you-could-eat mode. Number three, 100% pure beef. Number four is the house special, the 2600 mode. And number five, face surfer mode. So let's check out each of them. So we jump into number one, all-you-can-eat mode. Basically, you try to avoid the purple pickle, which looks like something else, but I'm really not going to discuss that here. And the game is relatively fun, moving up and down, trying to avoid that purple pickle and gobble up everything in sight. The cheeseburgers give you the most points, so go for them. I tried this mode quite a bit, and I just could not seem to break the thousand point barrier. It's pretty hard, and it is pretty addictive and fun. However, when we go into number two, the two player mode, this takes an ugly turn here. Basically, the hit detection is all off. You could feel like you're super far away from that purple pickle and still end up eating it. It's pretty bad. I recommend not playing it multiplayer, but the single player experience here is actually pretty good. So we got two modes down there already. Let's jump past number three for a second and go to number four, the house special. Basically, it's just like the first mode, only it's the Atari 2600 version of it. And, again, it's pretty good. The hit detection seems to be working, except I do have one problem with this mode. The purple pickles. When you eat them, sometimes it doesn't make a sound that you got dinged. And that can be a little frustrating because there's also no counter on this mode to realize how many lives you have left. So it's kind of random feeling of when you're going to die. I know it's not random. It's entirely skill based most of the time. Sometimes I just sort of zone out and forget what I'm not supposed to eat and eat a pickle anyway. The graphics look pretty clean here and probably a lot better than the 2600 could actually do. Overall, it's pretty passable and kind of fun and a good way to kill a good 20 minutes. So let's jump into number five, face stuffer mode. This is a first person view and it's pretty surreal looking. Immediately you're gonna think, well, it's like a first person shooter-ish where you fly around and shoot the food. But no, you don't actually press any buttons. It's all on the D-pad here. And you move around and try to home in on the food you want to eat. Your crosshairs go over it, and when it gets so close to the screen, you eat it. Sounds simple enough. Except for sometimes the pickles actually hide behind the food. And if you just barely touch your crosshairs on the pickle, you eat it and lose life. Even if you cannot see it whatsoever. Which gets extremely frustrating. As a matter of fact, this mode is really Poor. There's no way I'm going to break a thousand points here because just trying to eat food to get to the regular points, you're going to end up dying again and again. This mode is just the worst, which is a shame because the graphics actually look pretty good. 
On top of it, the music here is a little on the bad side. Matter of fact, this whole game is sort of riddled with somewhat less than average music. I really don't like to bash on homebrewers, especially because they're giving us new content for our aging systems. But overall, I really think they could have spent a little bit more time on the music and trying to get the hit detection at least right. So remember selection number three, the 100% pure beef mode. Basically, only eat cheeseburgers and avoid all vegetables. Pretty much what I do at every single meal. And the hit detection here is completely perfect. It is a little liberal on where you are at to eat the cheeseburgers, and you have to be right on the vegetables in order to eat those. So the game is very, very forgiving here. And it starts off moving pretty slow, where you're weaving in and out, eating the cheeseburgers, and having a blast. The more cheeseburgers you put down, the faster it gets. And before you know it, you have to start treating this game as if it was a bullet hell shooter. Basically, just try to avoid all the vegetables and the cheeseburgers will accidentally fall in your mouth eventually. Before you know it, you'll be racking up mad points. This is an extremely fun part of the game. It is by far my favorite part, and I spent quite a bit of time doing this. Overall, fast food for the Jaguar CD is pretty good. I do have the CD version, and yes, it locked up on me a couple of times. I hope they fix that on the card version, but I don't have that because it was twice the price of the CD version. I'm hoping the card version is a lot better, but my fingers are crossed for you guys because I don't think I need to own two copies of this game. Overall, I really thank the developers for putting out new content. I wish they would have strived for perfection here though, because the game could have been so much better. Maybe even a couple more options with more modes, but maybe that's just me getting greedy. Overall, the CD version is priced right about $30, and the card is about $60. So that isn't so bad for Jaguar games nowadays, and I did have a lot of fun with the pure beef mode. But that's just my opinion. Thanks for watching.